Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint these fluffy clouds using gouache paint. So here is my setup for the day and everything I'm using will be in the description box below. So I've just taped down some paper using washi tape onto my desk and I've got my palette next to me. Then I have two jars of water and I'm using a cloth to dry my brushes off on and I'm also using a spray bottle. I like to use this to mist my paints every once in a while so that they still stay fresh on the palette. And I've already done a light sketch so the next thing I'm going to do is just go in with my kneadable eraser and just lift off some of the pencil so that it's a lot lighter and it'll be easier to cover up with paint later. Then the colours I'm starting off with are ultramarine blue, primary red and a generous amount of white paint. And then the first colour that I want to mix is a light bluish purple kind of colour. So I'm going in with my angular shader here. You can just use any sort of flat brush. And here I'm just going to mix lots of white with a little bit of blue. And I'm going to gradually add in the tiniest bit of red as well because I just want the mixture to be a little bit purple. Once I've mixed that, then I'm going to go in with that colour and just start to block out the background. So I'm just going to keep laying in the colour and I'm going to paint around where I penciled in the moon because I want to leave that part white. So I'm just going to cover this whole area and just slightly adjust the colour here and there. I might add a little bit more white sometimes or a little bit more blue. I don't want the background to be one flat colour so I want just a little bit of variety. So that's what I'm just going to do. And then this first layer actually came out a little bit sheer so later I actually go back in with a second layer just to make it a little bit darker. When you're mixing and adjusting the colour just make sure you're doing it very slowly and adding in little bits of blue and red at a time because if you add too much at once it can easily overthrow the entire colour. So we mostly want to add in white paint and then just the tiniest bit of blue and red. So here you can see I'm going in with a second layer just to make it more opaque because the first layer I can see that my brush strokes are quite obvious because the paint was a little bit sheer. So I'm just going in with a second layer here. Now I'm going to mix a slightly more light purple colour so I'm going to add in more white and a little bit more of the primary red and I'm going to lay that colour in in the bottom right corner because from the reference photo I can see that there's sort of a hint of a cloud there it's kind of misty so I want to create a purple kind of mist colour and just cover in that little area there. Now for the moon, we're just going to use pure white paint and just outline it a little bit better because when I was putting in the background before, I went over a few of the lines. So I'm using white paint to sculpt out the moon and make sure that it's really round. I've also switched to a round brush now, which I use for the rest of the painting. So you can also go ahead and switch to a round brush. This one here is the Princeton Neptune round brush and it is 100% synthetic and it is a really great brush. So once I've outline the white then I'm going to go in with a little bit of grey paint so I mix just the tiniest bit of black into my paint and create a really light grey and I start to paint in where the craters are so I'm just kind of indicating where there's some shadows on the moon and just painting in some of the craters there and just make sure that the grey you mix is very light because if it's too dark it can easily overthrow the whole thing now to paint in the clouds, we're going to first start to mix the shadow colour, which is a pinkish purple kind of colour. So I'm using the same mixture as before, but I'm just adding in a little bit more red and a bit more white. And what I do is I start to outline the edges of the clouds. So if you have a look at the reference photo, you can see that the darker shadows are along the edges of each of the clouds. So I just go in and start to define where all of the edges are. And after I've done that, then I will go around and start to lighten the edges as well and just blend it out so that it's a lot softer. In order to make it easier for you to come back and blend out these 
edges later on make sure you are using a generous amount of paint so you're applying a nice thick layer onto the paper so that it doesn't dry too quickly and you have time to come back later and start to blend it out because if you use a very thin diluted mixture and you try to put that on the paper it will easily just absorb into the paper which means you can't come back and mix it out as easily and everything will be very watered down So here I'm starting to go in with a slightly lighter color to try and soften out each of the edges because I don't want a very harsh line. I want it to be a really smooth and gradual kind of transition. So I've just mixed more white into the mixture and then I just go along each of the edges and just try to smooth that out. This is pretty much all there is to painting these fluffy clouds. It's all just a matter of putting in the dark shadows and then blending it out with some lighter paint and just adjusting as you need. So I'm constantly looking at the reference photo and seeing how I can try to match the colors and I will just blend on the paper. So sometimes I will just pick up white paint, put it on the paper and start to blend it out. So it's just a matter of trying to blend things out to be as smooth as possible to make it look as realistic as possible. Once I finish with those clouds then I start to mix a darker purple and I repeat the process by painting in the edges of the clouds first. So now I'm painting in the clouds that are sitting in front and it's a little bit darker so I'm just painting in those edges first and just outlining where all of those go. And once I've done all the outlines then again I start to lighten the mixture by adding in more white and I do my best to smooth out the edges as much as possible and to try and create a contour. So I want the edges to be nice and smooth and then I want the center to be a bit brighter so that it looks like the clouds have a bit more depth to them and they look more fluffy.
For this part of the cloud, the colour was a little bit more of a peachy orange colour so I added in a bit of permanent yellow deep to my pink mixture so that it was a bit of a warmer pinkish orange kind of glow and again I repeated the same process where I just try to map out where all the contours are and I try to smooth out the edges as much as possible. Now I'm going to go back to the first layer of clouds that I did and add in more details. So in the first layer I was just kind of defining where all the contours are but now I want to go back and really define everything else and add in all those little details to make it look a lot more realistic. And I also want the edges to be a little bit darker because right now they look a little faint and they don't look so defined. So I go in with a bit of a darker paint and again outline everything and try to smooth it out as well while also adding in lots of the small contours and adding more details. For this part I decided to go back and change the tones to be more of a peachy orange kind of colour so that it had a bit more of a warmer glow in this area. So you can choose to do the same thing or you can keep it the colour that you have but I'm also going back to define everything a bit more as well so that it just pops out more because we want the clouds in front to be a little bit darker so they stand out more and is easily differentiated from the clouds in the background. At the end of each painting I like to just zoom out and have a look at the whole painting and see if there's any adjustments that I can make. So here I'm just making some minor adjustments and just adding in a bit more highlights here and there just to define everything. So that's it for today's tutorial and I hope you guys were able to learn how to paint some fluffy clouds. If you take this technique and try to paint some other clouds I'm sure it'll work as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you have any questions just let me know and if you recreate it you can tag me on Instagram because I would love to see. I hope you all have a really lovely day and I will see you in my next video.